Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In this video, we'll be having a look at this Creator 3-in-1 set, set 31093, the River Houseboat. This is a Creator 3-in-1 set, so it comes with three different builds that you can build from the same parts. One is the seaplane with a small jetty, a smaller boat with a small house and a jetty, and finally, this full-size boat and two smaller builds here. In this video, I'm going to focus on this main build, which is the River Houseboat, and I think most people are interested in this build for this set. Later in the video, I'll also show how to weather this particular set up so that it fits another LEGO set, the LEGO Ideas Old Fishing Store set. Now, like many people, once I saw this river house boat, because of the colors, I guess, I thought it would fit the old fishing store very well. But it looks too new. It needs to be weathered down to fit that set. So we're going to do that later on. But first, let's have a look at the smaller builds. Here we have a brick-built pelican on a tree trunk, very small and effective. Over here, we have a crocodile or maybe an alligator, such a cute little brick build. And inside its mouth, we see this vicious small bird. This alligator is just minding its own business, wanting to yawn, and this killer bird landed in its mouth trying to choke it to death. Very vicious if you ask me. But overall, I think this build is really cute. Too cute to be an actual alligator in my Lego city. But if I wanted a brick built sign with a cute alligator, I think this will fit perfectly. The main boat is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see exactly what I see. It is a very nice size, I think, especially if you have a small brick city like mine. So you don't have a lot of space. Uh, this footprint for a boat is really good because it doesn't take up too much space yet is all the things you need at least from a symbolic level in terms of you know a front of the boat a back of the boat you got two minifigs one fishing a nice little awning a roof and small details that make it pretty fun there's this cute regular door which is built into the boat but i think overall this works and it looks like an old time fishing boat you might see on the river just like a lot of creator style builds, the roof is modular in the sense that it can be removed as one piece because it's held together by tiles and jumper plates. And let's have a look inside. It is really small, but very functional and pretty cute as well. There's a steering wheel at the front with a chair behind it so that you can pilot the boat. Next to it looks like a little stove or maybe that's just a sink. It's a coffee mug with a clip, a lamp, and that's a bed. And believe it or not, there's also a TV mounted on the wall. And that's basically it. No toilet as you'd expect. I guess that's what the river is for. Right now, we're going to explore how we can weather this particular river house boat down so that it matches the look of the old fishing store. As you can see and tell by the name, the old fishing store, it is a bit dilapidated, so it's a bit run down. And this river house boat, if we want it to fit, this set or at least to put it together i think we do need to make this look a bit more rundown than it is so we're gonna get some parts and then i'm gonna put it together and explain my thought process as we go along here are some of the parts i'm going to use to create the weathered look for the river houseboat starting with these reverse light gray slope bricks here i'm gonna use these inverted dark gray bricks to wear out some of these bricks to give it a more worn out look as though it scraped the bottom of rocks or something like that. And I've got a variety of different tiles in different lengths and different colours. Also got these printed plank-like tiles and these will be placed along the sides of the boat as well as on top will be here. And that gives it a very weathered look. To hold the tiles on the side of the boat, I'll need these modified bricks and these are in sand colour, one by one modified bricks with studs on the side and to fill in some gaps because I'm putting these modified bricks in I may need some loose sand green bricks and I'm just using these olive green bricks as well just so that it's a bit mismatched so it doesn't look so perfect because the old fishing store has a lot of mismatched colours and I want to replicate that. Alright, so let's get started. And here we have it, a bit more weathered look, lots of patchwork all around, just to give it a more beat up look. I think we can make it a bit more random, maybe I can change this out for 
this and this can come here just so that it doesn't look too uniform or round and we still have that mismatched look. I think this works for now and we'll set it next to the old fishing store and see how it looks. And here we have the new old weathered river houseboat. That's an oxymoron, new old and weathered. But regardless, I think this look does match the old fishing store. In fact, the way I see it, this boat is for rental from the old fishing store. In fact, there's actually a sign on the side of the old fishing store. And it's a boat rental sign. In fact, I just noticed this. The picture of the boat on this printed tile looks exactly like the river houseboat. Maybe Lego did this on purpose. There's life preserver, there's even the fishing rod at the back. I think it's more than a coincidence. What do you think? Do you think this was all part of a master plan? And let me know, if you have the old fishing store, do you intend to get this river houseboat and will you make these modifications? Or do you think that we shouldn't mess around with the whole Lego design and we should keep it as it is? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.